In this lesson, we'll be creating a swing for the other side of the leash. Okay, so the other side of the leash is a little bit more simple of an issue, but we can also create a parent chain for it the same way that we did for our dog's neck and head. So let's move its anchor points as well. I've got the main part of the leash selected and I'm just going to put its anchor point up here next to where it's going to be inserting into the dog's mouth. And then let's also put the little buckle where it is going to be kind of attaching to the leash. So probably right about there. Maybe a little bit lower. It's a little bit hard to tell just because of the design of it is um, it just sort of overlaps there. So what we need to have happen is have the position and rotation of these change over time. So we know that probably right about here, this is what we want it to look like. So we can get our first keyframe set up for the position and rotation of these. And I'm going to go ahead and we'll toggle back up our other leash and even our head because we can see what's happening pretty well up there. So we'll go ahead and open up the position by hitting the P key, hold shift and hit the R key to bring up the rotation as well. And this is still going to be on the Z rotation. So we'll set position and Z rotation for both of those pieces. And I'm also going to make sure that the buckle is parented to the leash. So now whenever I rotate one, the other one is going to have kind of that follow through style rotation. Okay, so let's select both of our layers, hit the U key to bring up just their keyframes, and that's going to make it a little bit easier just to kind of see what's going on. We don't want a keyframe set for the anchor point, so I'm going to turn that off and we'll select that, hit that U key again to just bring up those points. Okay. So their anchor points and positions aren't moving over time. So that is good news. What I want to do is come back here to that same point before the leash started moving, which looks like about right there, and set up our first keys for where it's going to begin from. So I'm just grabbing them both. And because it's parented, it's awesome because they're going to move together. And just kind of putting that in place there. And it actually doesn't matter that it's a little bit low. Just because it's parented, it works. We will be having a little bit of separate rotation compared from this to this though. So you do still need to have those keyframes. So right now it goes up, but I want to kind of create some swing with the leash. So once we get to this point, Instead of keeping those keyframes where they're straight up and down, we know that their Z rotation right now is at zero. So that's what we want to work back towards. But let's just try selecting both of those Z rotation properties and let's kind of rotate it over this way just to begin with. And then we'll move forward two frames and go backwards. And this one's great because it's one of the ones that crosses over the zero point. So you can just use negative and divide it in half each time. It's easier than having to um, do all that subtraction. So this one's just going to be positive six. Then we'll go um, forward two more frames and then it'll be negative three. So again, remember half it and then alternate between positive and negative. And then we'll do a positive 1.5 and then a zero. So I may have overwritten that very last one. Let's see here. Positive 1.5 and then a zero. Okay, so what we want to do right now, we've only got the this going on for the buckle. So we want to actually do it for the leash. So I'm just actually going to copy those keys and paste it. To the leash. Now let's see what that looks like. So right now I'm not seeing a lot of difference between the two so we might need to exaggerate the buckle a little bit. So with just both of those selected I'm happy with the way that that looks. Now when we come back here I'm gonna say probably here for the buckle 
actually we want to go a little bit farther. So let's try something like negative 40. Then when we come back over here, we want this to have gone way farther the other way. So that's going to be a positive 20. Then when we come back here, that's going to be a negative 10. Next one is going to be a positive 5. The next one will be a negative 2.5. And this one can actually keep going a little bit. And then we'll go back to zero. So it's going to actually go past because you can see that because it's so much heavier, it would keep going. So that actually looks much better for it. If we zoom in a little bit. You can see how it's going to go forward, backward, backward, and forward. Now, for it to just kind of come up as the dog stands up and be sort of stuck there, that looks a little bit strange. So I think we could actually go back a couple of frames and maybe have this swung in the other direction. So um, for this one, it would be 80 degrees. And right here, it would be, let's see, it's going to be positive 24. So 24. So it's just kind of adding to that. And I think the position could change a little bit as well. So I'll just grab the leash since that's the one that's the parent and we'll put that in place. So it's going to move a little bit over time, but that's going to help it also as it's being picked up. So right now it's kind of just going in a straight line. Let's go ahead and coax that back over into position. And I think this is working okay for me, but I'd rather pull the rotation keys back so that it's rotating that first rotation the whole time where it kind of moves through. And then once he gets about right here is probably when those would start. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab them and pull them back. Great. So you can see how that looks so much more natural now. Let's watch that through for him. And the only critique I have over it is that I think it's moving a little bit too quickly. So let's just give it some more space between the keys. So I can just select those, hold alt, and it looks like I'm just going to have to do one at a time. So I'll just select them, hold alt, and pull it forward. And then the same there. So just giving it a little bit more time to slow down. Let's watch that. Okay, great. So let's come back in the next lesson. And we're going to be using the puppet tool again. But this time we'll be using it to rig the tail to make it look like it's wagging back and forth a little bit.